Good morning, little girl. Good morning. Hi. There's the hawk. Before there was a Tiffany outdoors, there was Tiffany the farmer. Want to use the turn when possible? No, we're not. You turn. Hi. Hi. What are you doing? Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another Tiffany Outdoors vlog. It feels good out here. It's not humid at all. At least not yet. I'm sure that will change. Alright, so... Got some stuff to do today. I tell you what, these leaves changed brown really quick. All those leaves that came down from the hurricane. Oh boy, do I have a lot to clean up. What I plan on doing is getting my push mower with the bagger on it and just chopping them up, pulching them up throwing them on the burn pile, which is ginormous right now. Yeah, it's pretty big. I've really got to I've got to fix this gate door but anyway um, my dad's coming over in a little bit to get my trailer he has uh, he bought a lawnmower so I need to go pick that up but I'm gonna go with him well, two birds with one stone the hurricane has like caused a lot of fence breaking so I'm just going around seeing how many posts I need to get ugh I hate going through this stuff ugh I mean this stuff is like super thick grass I mean you can't even see my feet uh, so I got quite a few broken fence posts I'm not going to do go down this middle section that, that separates these two fields I'm just going to go around the perimeter. Oh gosh. And this stuff is super tall. Super tall. I said, it's like almost up to my knees, so it's super thick grass. Lots of lots of grazing for Bailey. Because there is so much grass out here, I only have one horse. I really don't supplement her with hay because she has the this field used to be a hay field so it's getting it right from straight from the source plus I feed her alfalfa cubes for her hay and I I've been feeding her the alfalfa cubes probably for about four or five years now with no hay so horses can survive without hay. And 
she's not skinny in any way shape or form <laughs> she's a big girl she is definitely a big girl too big but I just need to go around and get a rough estimate of how many how many posts I need Ugh. There's gigantic grasshoppers everywhere, y'all. That thing's about two inches long. It's gigantic. Do some fence clearing. I've got to get rid of this. This right here, y'all, this is probably about seven feet high. It's a pear tree from the squirrels. I need to get rid of that. That can't stay there. This here's a cherry tree. I need to get rid of that. But I can get some fence posts while my dad has his truck over. And I've lost count already. I think I will probably get maybe 15, 15 posts. Something else I want to talk about. I'm kind of frustrated right now with... The shop that has my truck they've had it for a month now a month I've already been down there twice to pick it up and both times hey how are you okay. yeah doing good <laughs> I did um, get an account on how many fence posts I need I got a bunch of fence repairs to do that's a never-ending job there <laughs> <laughs> I've already spent a lot of money on it and now it's the transmission it won't switch gears so it's been sitting in the same spot for two weeks they were supposed to go to a pick and pull place get a transmission off of another vehicle and fix mine that's two weeks ago now they're giving me the excuse well with the flooding and stuff the place where we would get the parts is underwater I get that I get it I totally get it a lot of flooding but you have my truck two three weeks three weeks before the storm so yeah that's where I'm at now with them I'm about this close to just going getting my truck and taking it somewhere else I had planned on starting a small lawn business before the end of the season but that's not gonna be possible if they hadn't even fixed the daggone transmission yet so that's where I am with them on that. Just kind of getting a little uh, running out of patience. I've been very patient. The repair that they were supposed to do the front end was supposed to take one week, about a week. They finished that in less than a week. Now it's all this other goobble de gop and I don't really I don't think they're trying to to rip me off or anything I really don't believe that because I've been using them for years many years I think she knows that <clears throat> I'm not like looking for the truck like right away like it's my only vehicle and they're thinking oh we got time to fix this but I get ready to start laying it on thick. Trust and believe. I'm going to be calling them every other day. And if that doesn't help, I'm going to start calling daily. So you'll hurry up, fix my truck, and get me out of your face. That's what I want you to do. I shouldn't have to pressure you like this to do it. So there's the frustration in that. And now with all these limbs and things down, I need my truck more than ever. So 
so there's that. All right, let me go unhook, un, unchain, unlock my trailer and get it ready for my dad. Get some ratchet straps out for him too. So there's that. Go pee pee. Y'all, this dog is so smart. Let me tell you how smart she is. Whenever I get ready to go somewhere, she knows whether she needs to go to her kennel or she's going with me. She knows. She instinctively knows. It's so creepy. <sighs> Let her out to go to use the bathroom. You have to tell her to go or else you just sit up here on the porch. Just sit here, sniffing the air. Go pee pee. And this is the look I get. She may not have to go, but I'd rather make sure she goes out here than for her to have have used the bathroom in my house. I don't want that. What's up, y'all? I'm back from my dad's now. Oh my, did we have a, a time with that mower. So, I guess because the mower had been sitting for a long time, the battery was dead. It took us a long time to figure out that that's why it wasn't starting we, we assumed that we were hitting the right button mashing the right thing or something but oh, we had to jump it twice my dad only had a little bit of gas so we put a little bit in it and let it run so that the it would charge up the battery some and it ran out of gas he went and got gas came back I started up it wouldn't start so we had to jump it again this time we had to push it up to hit where his truck was whoo so he's not that thrilled about this mower because he doesn't like that you have to hold the it's kind of like a car so you have to hold the pedal down there are some that have the um what is it the cruise control but he didn't get one that had cruise control so I guess maybe he didn't think about that but he got a good John Deere mower. It's a really good one. He's got a 48 inch cut, 22 horsepower motor. So it's got a really good motor on it. And he cut half the grass. I cut the other half. I like it. It is different. It's different from, because he had also had a craftsman like I did. And he kind of was wishing he had a craftsman again. Because that's what you know he and I are both used to for over 30 years that's all we used was craftsman lawnmowers so but anyway he said he's gonna keep it I told him that if he changed his mind and needed to use my trailer to come get the trailer anytime I'll help him load it up whatnot but well I have showered I'll get ready to go help Joe cook some dinner all right, y'all. This is <laughs> okay. So let me show you guys what what we got going on here. We got don't, this. Don't, okay, I was gonna say don't try and pronounce that now. No. So Joe is using that on some chicken wings. So <laughs> us Americans in our measurements, this is all in milliliters and grams. Is it? I don't know about grams. Yo, yeah, those yeah, grams. Grams and milliliters. We don't understand that. <laughs> and the directions are a little sketch too, so <laughs> let me read y'all. <laughs> let me read y'all. I should what say what sentence. I said first, and we have to start a small fire. <laughs> the last sentence says Fry it brown in boiling oil pan. Small fire. Yep. What does that mean? And it says to take 150 grams of the powder and mix it with 180 milliliters of water. Stir it. No, it says evenly stir up to addition. Wait. Oh, okay. 
evenly stir up. No addition of spices needed. Did you taste the powder to see if it needed spice? I was going to. It's too late now. You already dipped it in a raw chicken. There's some maybe powder remnant in here. Let's see. Have you washed your hands from hand? Yes, I just chicken? did. You did not just see me wash hands? No. <laughs> I was washing hands in between what you were doing. So we're trying to figure out if um, it needs some spice or not. It's plain, <laughs> isn't it? I thought that... No spice. No spice needed. Spice needed. Yes, spice needed. <laughs> but... Then it says to dip the foods in the powder. Well, you've already wet it. It's not powder anymore. It's a batter. I'm just guessing that somebody that was not American had to, you know, reinterpret that into American directions. And it's probably directly translated from exactly what they said. Exactly. And but they just missed the part where it needed some spice. And small fire. Mm -hmm. So. I'm going to put it on medium high. That sounds like small fire to me. <laughs> Small fire. Small fire. Okay. We don't have gas, we have electric, so like Joe said, medium medium high will be small fire. Well, I wouldn't do medium high, but this particular eye, it does not like to do low. So it only does high and medium high. Okay. If you have to have it on low, it'll turn off. <laughs> Y'all check this out. This is what River does when we're in here cooking. She does that. I swear, this dog is just so darn cute. She's waiting for something to drop on the floor. Yeah. She even so, suspected that I dropped anything. She'd be in here in a heartbeat. Yeah. If we drop something, she'd be over here so fast. She'll wake up from that little nap she's faking right now. Fake. She's fake napping right now. Yeah, look at her eyes just barely open. She's like, wait until I see her do something. She's all blinking, all drowsy and stuff. Drop something and watch her come running. Here, let me help you with that. Oh, I got that. <laughs> all right, y'all. Instead of staying here, I'm going to help Joe cook some dinner. I'll see y'all later. Tomorrow, maybe next day. I don't know. We'll see. This is not doing anything. A lot comes out when you use it. It doesn't do it a lot for me. This one does, though. Look at that. Oh. Ooh, yeah, it does. All right. Okay. Let me put this camera down and cook some sides or something. Just got a phone call from my neighbor that said, "Look across the street. What do you see? Wild turkeys. I don't know." They might be vultures. Zoom in a little bit more. What do you guys think? Are those turkeys or vultures? Maybe they're turkey vultures. There's three of them. Where's the other one? There's the other one. No, I think that's a vulture. What do you guys think? Turkey or vultures? I'm zoomed in as far as it'll go. I think those are vultures. Yeah, I think those are vultures, not turkeys.